So I guess uh, he said find and install the orb. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the top room. Not the top room. The um, uh, second to the top room. Oh wait, did I already pass it? I already passed it. It's there. Okay, we're gonna drop. Okay. Uh, so I guess, I guess I'll just put it in the middle of the room and uh, I'll go ahead and install it. Observe. What? What am I? What? Are, oh, there's something. I've been on the Whoa! I need to find a place where I can rest for a while. Whew, man, it's amazing how I've been on the road so long, and I've I've just now taken inventory of my possessions. But I don't really trust. I didn't trust this tunnel when I went into it, and I can't trust it as I'm coming out. I've seen too many people do too many horrible things in this new life. Oh boy, what would have happened if I would... Wah! That's fine. Oh, I'm stuck in a box. Oh, somebody behind me? Ah. Let's do it. Oh, we're moving. We're actually moving. Should I be trying to shoot these guys? Who's got a bow? Mr. Yellow Man has a bow. I totally missed this one. Okay, I'm getting it now. I'm getting the idea now. Your camp is safe for now. Oh, wow. Consider oh, what you have seen. That was... Wait, what? Recorded fairly. Oh, like... Right? You must build I the scales. Build the scales? Build the rating scale? Oh, do I have to build a I have to build an in-map representation of my rating system? Oh, where do I want to do that? All right, we're going to go ahead and make something uh, that I've been thinking about while I've been deciding how to build my scales. And that is a set of banners uh, for the observation tower. So we're going to do an orange chevron, uh, and then we're going to do a black stripe right down the middle of the chevron. Then we're going to do an orange crown, maybe it's called? An orange lozenge, I guess. Uh, and then we have the orange lozenge. We need to do a black, what is it called, a field? A perfess. And then we need a white orb, a white roundel. So the finished product, whoa! better take a quick nap and this is gonna be the tower or the banner for for the orb tower oh look at what we have here I've been waiting for this for such a long time I've been waiting for this for such a long time zombies zombies okay Excellente. I'm kind of somewhat, nah, not too far down in the cave. I'm going to leave this here because this may become the village repopulator. Well, I don't have a village. I've explored a bit, can't find a village. I think it has something to do with the small biomes. Um, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. sorry, sorry. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, I've been aching for a saddle. All right, and what we have here is a horse containment unit. 
uh, design courtesy of Cold Fusion Gaming in his map called Stormhaze. Basically what you do is you ride a horse down into this two block hole and he can't get out because the horse is one and a half block wide so he can't do that what I just did. So this is going to be horse containment let's see if I can fit it on one line containment nope I can't I had a feeling I couldn't unit oh let's do this HCU horse containment unit uh, CFG trademark Yay, okay. Now all I gotta do is go find a horse. Oh boy. <clears throat> I've been wandering in circles, basically. I won't say I'm quite as lost as I was the first two times I came through here. <laughs> uh, but I think I've learned something. So horses, and apparently other neutral mobs, passive mobs, I guess I should say, uh, I guess they're they are not persistent uh, for some reason I thought they were persistent meaning that once they spawned even if you leave the area and come back they would still be there I feel like this was something that was proven back around the time that I was playing a lot on the band of builders server because uh, I came through here earlier and like I said I saw brown horses I saw a pack of white horses I saw a pack of uh, black horses I'm like okay if I ever find a saddle I'm coming back here got three saddles now and the horses are not here anymore oh there we go Whew. man oh man oh man oh man oh man I was walking a long time uh, I believe that I have circled around to the south uh, again. So I found three possible horses. Now these three actually do look like horses that I saw before. Uh, why can I not... What? Wait! Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you not... There we go. Okay, you have not a ton of hearts. All right, so you are definitely a candidate. You're on Jacob's list. All right, what about you? You do not let me go on you? All right, what about you up here, dude with the socks on? Okay, you have more hearts. That means you're either going to be slower or not as good of a jumper. So what's wrong with this one? Oh, are you a pony? Oh, you're a baby still. That's why. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go with this one. You have a good number of hearts. You're a girl, aren't you? I think you're a girl. Have I had a female? Yeah, I have had a female horse before. Now, what do I want to call you? I was thinking about something like judgment or justice, but that sounds too... Too much like uh, the horse itself is is judging the rating maps. Do I want to call you the ob observer? No. I feel like I want you to... Ah, oh, you loved me. What? Wait a minute. You loved me. There you go. And I'm going to give you gold armor. You're... I want it to be a good rating scale horse. Like fairness. Like my fair lady. I might call you fair lady. Alright, let's see how fast you are here. Let's get to an open flat land. Oh yeah, you're satisfactory. And your jumping is... Hmm, are you jumping high enough? Let's go to a two block... Oh yeah, your movement speed is great. I, I picked you well. Or maybe you chose me well. I 
hope I'm not going to have to get you across a large body of water to get you home, though. I think home is in this direction. I probably should double check. Yes, I think home is in this direction. Looking for a good place I can test your jumping skills. Alright, from a... They s you seem like you're not a very high... Oh, there's the tower. Perfect. You seem like you're actually not a very high jumper. All right, I think I have most everything that I want for the scales, at least. Fair lady, yes, you and I shall be fair friends forever. You know what, you're probably not gonna be able to take my path, are you? Let's see, let's see how well you do on the path. Nope, you're not going to be able to get through there, so I might need to widen that, or make a horse path. <gasps> no, 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 don't kill us already. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Oof. Oh yeah, she's totally not going to make it through. Oh, oh no, no. I don't mind if I take a little bit of damage. Not a fair lady. I guess I need a little bit more speed to get through this part. Ah, I didn't think about riding a horse through here last time. I think I might have to make a separate horse trail, actually. Seems like that's going to be the best. Okay. Oh, no, no, stop. Don't, don't be inclined. All right, we're not going to take your ho my horse through there. We need to find a different way for my horse to get up. I guess she could just climb. Is she a good climber? That's a different problem. Let's see if you can make it across the bridge. You can make it across the bridge. That's good. You should be able to make it up here. Whoa, that was fast. <gasps> creeper! 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 Creeper, my fair lady! sword. Ah, oh, mother. Oh, we have a bed already. You know what? I don't have a horse containment unit up here. Let's fix that. What the heck are you doing in there? Are you taking a, a warm bath? Listen to this. Just listen. Are you going to do it now? Look at that. He's steaming. He's taking a steam bath. That's crazy. There it is again. Okay, so I think this is going to be the rating system. I was initially imagining scales in a very uh, traditional sense, meaning like balanced scales, or not balanced scales, but meaning, um, yeah, like balanced scales, where you have sort of a fulcrum, and then on top of that fulcrum you have some sort of a... Uh, other thing <laughs> you have like you have like two arms and then you know chains hanging down from those arms and then on the arms you have um oh god <laughs> only i was thinking about like it would be pretty hard to make something like that in minecraft so i'm gonna keep it in mind but i think for now the rating system is basically going to be uh, represented by this pentagram. Alright, so there we go. We've got the five point uh, representation of my rating scale. It's also got sort of a, oh, I guess you'd say um, pentagram or a mystical feeling to it. And I'm going to really quickly walk you through what these points are um, because I feel like this will sort of lock in and legitimize what I do, I guess, is what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so we'll start, we'll just go around clockwise, starting with the black. So the black will be the mechanics rating. Now, 
what I do for mechanics is I look at not only uh, the map in terms of uh, like redstone and special effect mechanics that are clever and unique, but also what does the player have to do? So not just what they experience, but what do they do? Is it just one a one-trick pony uh, like a sprint map where all they do is sprint the whole time? Or does the player have different things? Do they have to craft? Do they have to mine? Do they have to scavenge? Uh, do they have to think? I try to look at a variety of mechanics, and the more the better, and how well they work together uh, is that rating. Now, the next rating on my favorite block, blue, or lapis, kind of looks like planet Earth, would be the detail. This is primarily the visual detail, but it doesn't mean that it has to be the absolute prettiest map in the world. Uh, it could also mean that it has to be uh, consistent and appropriate to the theme of the detail. Now, if you're playing a puzzle map where you're inside a series of all-white quartz rooms, there I look for little details to accentuate the experience. Like if you're trying to give uh, as a map maker, trying to give the experience of being uh, very cold and isolated, I try to take that into account. So, as you can already see, these ratings are pretty complex. Now, each of these ratings is a five point scale. A two basically means it's average, it's good, it's suitable, um, and it's average in terms of other maps of a genre. A one would mean there's something irrevocably wrong with it. Uh, a three usually means it's really good, it's above average, uh, and is a good score. And a four means it really surprised me. It was super unique, and I was like, wow, that was so awesome. Okay, third uh, rating that I usually do is, is experience. Now, for adventure maps, this is the quality of the story. And by, by that, I mean, does the character feel like he has a background, appropriate motivation for going on the adventure, and is there some sort of closure at the end? And also, <laughs> I don't take off for spelling, but apparently I need to learn how to spell myself. Uh, for other types of maps, it's, does the experience fit what you're going for? So if it's a parkour map, are you simply just jumping uh, with no real reason and you're just testing your skill? Or are you jumping because you're trying to move through an environment in the most efficient way possible? Uh, in a CTM, does it really capture the feeling of, of what Vex has defined for that genre? The traps, the exploration, being rewarded for finding hidden stuff. Uh, and for puzzles, it's, you know, how is the experience of solving the puzzles, uh, is it unique? So, um, but you could think of that mainly in terms of, of the story of the map in relation to the player. All right, so the fourth thing that I like to grade on is what I like to call challenge. And this could mean, well, this has a slightly different rating scale. So a one means that the map is way too hard, it's impossible to finish, and it's stupidly hard. A two, however, uh, in this case means that the map is way too easy and should have some additional types of challenge added in. Now, obviously I feel that a too hard map is worse than a uh, too easy map, but a too easy map isn't a bad thing. A two is a good score, remember? Now a three means that it is a little bit challenging in one or more ways. Maybe it's got some good combat, maybe it's got some good parkour, maybe it's got some uh, good thinking puzzles. So I like to look for mental challenge and I like to look for physical challenge and if it has both then it gets a four. And last but not least, we have progression. This can mean a couple different things, but it basically means how does the overall map hold together from beginning to end. Uh, it also kind of means um, your gear. So do you start with leather and then get iron and then get gold and then get uh, 
diamond or do you just jump right to diamond so there's no real progression uh, similarly how is the food how is the items is your inventory clogged such that it doesn't make sense with the level of detail or the mechanics does it draw back from the mechanics so all of these things are actually connected and influence each other uh, each one is rated on a scale of one to four and so your total rating will be somewhere between a five and a twenty all right so I guess I guess I've observed the map and now I guess to record it I'll use this written book oh nothing in there so the stand turned into a, a chest all right well let's um, let's record what we thought of this map then all right so we have dead world it's an adventure map by Raptor Spino Rex total rating 19 of 20 excellent score mechanics were four out of four detail four out of four experience and challenge also four out of four and the only place I held back on points was progression. So that's the review of Dead World. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and stick it in this chest for now. Whoa! Good. It has oh, begun. What was that? Did anything happen? The beam is still there. I don't... I don't see... Oh, I didn't grab the ladder. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything different. Ow. Oh. Huh. Is something different out here? Um. And now it has begun. I don't. I don't know exactly what is. Be oh, wait a minute. Oh, why are these... These are... Were these white before? Or were they clear? Well, this is weird. Huh, okay, the beam is still white. What... What has begun?